A gift from Cecilia O. Free piano lesson on Carl Czerny Opus 599. Practical exercises for the beginners. Learn piano with Cecilia O. Detailed, continuous, and systematic instructions. Today's lesson is on 94 in Czerny's book. We have four sharps, F sharp, C sharp, G sharp, and D sharp. D sharp is the last one, that's the seventh note of the key. So one half step up, which is E, that is the key note. So it is E major. E major scale is starting from E with the thumb, Two, three, then change into one. And three again. Okay, if you want to go two octaves, then you have to extend out. Instead of going five, you just go one. You have to go next one. higher, don't stop right there. Then you don't have any fingers to play next one. So you have to extend out. One, two, three. Very simple. Okay. Left hand is a four on the F sharp. So you go four on the F sharp. Same thing. Octave higher. Okay, so when you do octave higher, it is the same fingering. One, four, five, four, three, four, three, three. That is the E major scale. We're going to do E major arpeggio. Okay, broken chord. So this is a chord, black chord. You separate it. That is what you call broken chord. And it is also called arpeggio. So we are going to learn tonic and dominant. We will practice arpeggios. Okay, first of all, tonic. Okay, so fingering will be the same. And you have to stretch out. Don't jump. You just Turn your elbow to thumb goes on E. Okay. This is dominant. So you have Okay. The position is different, but fingerings and Everything, turning your elbows, and then make it all legatos are same. Dominant because it is based on five steps above tiny. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, that's all there is to it. Okay, okay. E major tani. Okay, all the way here. Then time to seventh. Okay, this is inverted. So E major one two three four five. That's dominant. And one more that is dominant seventh. 
in this case you go down so you have inverted then tiny again okay all the way and time with the seventh and tiny then this is Only two chords, tonic and diamond to seventh. Okay. All right. So left hand is very very simple and easy. We're going to the right hand part slowly. After four, you have to turn your elbow and hand together so you you can reach it thumb to be there. So don't let this one go though. You don't do that. You don't knock, knock. So there is a big hiccup there. La, la, re, la, re. Turn your elbow, turn your elbow. Learn here is when you go long scale, okay, don't shake your hand too much, then it will give you a bump. Then you never be able to create the even scale, okay? I will show you what you don't like that. Don't move your hand. You just be still on one line all the way here. One line. That's what you're supposed to do. So I will play from here. Ra ra ri ra ri ra ra ri ra ra bum 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 Okay. Now, so you don't give too much bump. Okay. Too much. Uh, accent on each time when you switch your finger. You don't go. Okay. A slight relaxation of your wrist is acceptable. Okay. So you go. Okay. So, so don't get too rigid, but slight relaxation of your wrist is acceptable. Simple. Now let's do both of them together. Slowly. Down into seventh. Down to 7th. 
seventh. Another beautiful piece. We upgraded ourselves a little bit higher. Don't you feel great? You see yourself improve higher and higher, and your music gets better and better. Don't you feel great? I'm so excited. We'll get to another exciting piece next time. Tell everybody in your neighborhood about this class so they can join us. So we will have more pleasure, more fun, more exciting lessons. Don't forget to click on the subscribe and bell button for me. It means a lot. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.